Good day everyone. In this video lesson, we will discuss about simplifying expression with rational exponents. So our objective, simplify expression with rational exponents. So first, let's discuss the properties of rational exponents. So ito ay parang uh, review lang for loss of exponent. Yung kinaibahan nga lang, ang pagkakaiba nito, yung exponent natin ay fraction. Okay? So... Let's say we have a product of powers. So, alam natin kapag product of powers, kapag nagmumultiply tayo, copy the base and add the exponent. So, paano mangyayari kapag uh, fraction yung exponent natin? So, let's say we have a raised to 4 over 3 times a raised to 2 over 3. So, copy the base and add the exponent. So, 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3. So, since same naman yung denominator natin, copy yung numerator, uh, add ang numerator, so 4 plus 2, that is 6, 6 divide 3, kaya ang answer natin is a squared. Another, we have power of power, so ang ginagawa dyan, so yung exponent sa loob, multiply mo dun sa naka-raise na exponent. So, for example, we have 2 raised to 2 over 3, raised to 3. Okay, so si 2 over 3 times natin kay 3. Okay, so ito ay pwede natin ma-cancel. So, ang maiwan na lang dyan ay 2 squared. Okay, kasi pwede natin to i-cancel yung 3. So, 2 squared is equal to 4. Another, we have power of a product. So, sa power of a product, yung exponent sa loob ng parenthesis natin, i-multiply natin dun sa exponent na naka-raise sa labas. So, that is A raised to M, B raised to M. For example, we have A times b raised to 3 fourth over 2 cube, ah, no, raised to 2 cube. Okay? So, anong gagawin? So, yung exponent natin dito, ang exponent ni a, it mo multiply kay 2 over 3, at yung exponent ni b, mo multiply kay 2 over 3. So, that is, a raised to 2 over 3, b, so, mo multiply natin yung exponent ni b kay 2 over 3. Since ito ay maka-cancel natin, so, ang may iwan na lang 2 over 4, Eh, yung 2 over 4, pwede pa natin ilo, uh, kunin yung lowest term nun. So, kaya 1 half. So, yung sagot natin, A raised to 2 over 3, B e raised to 1 half. Another, we have the quotients of powers. So, we have A raised to M. So, ang ginagawa dito, ba copy the base and subtract the exponent. Ganun yun, ba Copy the base and subtract the exponent. So, the answer will be, so, copy the base, subtract natin yung exponent. So, since same yung denominator natin, subtract ang numerator, 4 minus 1, that is 3. 3 over 3, the answer is 1. So, 5 raised to 1, the answer is 5. Another example, uh, another properties, we have the power of a quotient. We have, so, yung exponent sa loob ng parenthesis, multiply natin. Doon sa power, uh, exponent sa labas. So, let's say we have 4 over 16 raised to 1 half. That is, 4 raised to 1 half over 16 raised to 1 half. So, alam natin na ang 4 ay pwede natin i-write as 2 squared. Tama? So, kapag sinulat natin as 2 squared, maka-cancel natin ito. So, magiging 2 raised to 1 na lang. And the answer is 2. Ganun din ang 16. Pwede natin isulat as 4 squared. So, maka-cancel yung 2. Kasi pag minultiply natin si 2 times 1 half, maka-cancel si 2. May iwan na lang si 1. 4 raised to 1, the answer is 4. Yung 2 over 4 ay pwede pa natin i-reduce o kunin yung lowest term. So, the answer is 1 half. Also, the negative exponent, meron tayong negative exponent. So, that is a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. So, kunin lang natin yung reciprocal niya. Okay? So, the answer will be, uh, let's say, we have 27 raised to negative 1 over 3 or negative 1 cube is equal to, so since negative yung exponent niya natin, so ibababa natin. Kunin natin yung reciprocal. So, that is 1 over 27 raised to 1 third is equal to, so ang 27 plus ay pwede natin i-write as 3 cube. Kasi 3 times 3, that is 9, times 3, 27. So, pwede natin isulat ng ganito. So, ma-cancel natin ngayon ang 3. Tama? So, 3 raised to 1, the answer is 3. So, therefore, the final answer is 1 over 3. Okay. Let's proceed for more examples. 
use the rules of exponents to simplify the following. So write the expression with positive exponents. Assume all variables represent positive real numbers. So alimbawa, we have 5 raised to 1 fourth times 5 raised to 4 fifth. So since uh, product rule to, copy the base, copy the base and add the exponent. So 1 fourth plus 4 fifth. So, magkaiba ng denominator. So, kunin natin yung LCD nila. So, anong LCD yung 4 and 5? That is 20. Tama. So, 20, di ba? So, 20 divide 4, that is 5 times 1, kaya 5. Plus, 20 divide 5, that is 4 times 4, 16. So, add the numerator. That is 5 raised to 21 over 20. Another example, we have 9R raised to 4, or the quantity of 9R raised to 4, raised to 1 half. So, anong gagawin kapag ganito? This is power of a power, no? So, ang exponent natin dito sa loob ng parenthesis natin, multiply natin doon sa uh, exponent sa labas. So, isa-isahin natin. So, that is 9 raised to 1 half times R. 4 times, ra uh, 4 raised to, no, R raised to 4 times 1 half. Okay. So, ito, pwede natin makancel to. At ito naman, ang 9, mayroon tayong pwedeng gawin dyan. Pwede isulat si 9 as 3 squared. Tama? Pag sinulat natin si 9 as 3 squared, so makancel yung 2. And then, dito class, sa 4 times 1 half, since makancel nga natin to, pwede natin makancel out to, so, kasi 4 times 1, that is 4, divide 2, the answer is 2. At dito, sa 9 raised to 1 half, pwede natin makancel yung 2, kasi sinulat natin yung 9 as 3 squared. So, the answer will be 3 R squared. Okay, another example, we have B raised to 4 over B raised to 1 half. Okay, B raised to, raised to 1 half. So, since uh, quotient rule ang pwede natin apply dito, so, copy the base, copy the base, yung B, and then subtract natin yung exponent, 4 minus 1 half. And then, 4 minus 1 half, so, pwede mong gawin ganyan. Kapag ganito yung nasa taas, so, pwede mong gawin ganito, ha? 2 times 4, that is 8, minus 1. So, 8 minus 1, that is 7, 7 over 2. So, this will be the answer. Another example, we have 3x raised to 1 fourth over 9x raised to 4 cube. Uh, I know, 4 over 3. Okay, so 3x raised to 1 fourth over 9x raised to 4 over 3. So, anong pwedeng gawin natin dito? So, ito pwede natin i-cancel out, right? So, pwede natin ma-reduce tong 3 over 9. So, by dividing both numerator and denominator kay 3. So, that is 1 third. So, 3 over 9 is 1 third. And then, copy the base, yung x natin, and subtract the exponent. So, 1 fourth minus 4 over 3. And then, simplify kasi magkaiba yung uh, denominator natin. So, pwede natin kuling LCD is 12. So, 12 divide 4 is 3 times 1, kaya 3 minus 12 divide 3, that is 4 times 4, 16. And then, subtract na natin yung numerator. And that is 1 third x raised to negative 13 over 12. Since negative yung exponent natin, so apply natin yung natutunan natin sa nakaraang video lesson about negative exponent. So, anong ginagawa? Ibababa natin. So, that is 1. Okay, so 1 over 3x raised to 13 over 12. Alright, so that will be the answer. Another example, we have the quantity of x raised to 2 third, y raised to 1 fourth, raised to 1 half. Okay, raised to 1 half. So, anong next natin gagawin dyan? Of course, imumultiply natin yung mga exponent natin sa loob ng parenthesis, dun sa parenthesis, ay sa uh, exponent sa labas. So, isa-isahin natin. x raised to 2 over 3 times 1 half. So, ito yon y raised to 1 fourth times 1 half. So, ito yun. Okay? 
And then, simplify. So, ito yung cancel natin. 2 over 3 times 1 half. So, yung cancel yung 2. So, x raised to 1 over 3 na lang. Dito, wala tayong mga cancel. So, 1, 4 times 1 half. That is 1 times 1. That is 1. 4 times 2. That is 8. So, the uh, final answer is x raised to 1 over 3. y raised to 1 over 8. Okay? Another example. We have 4x squared over 2x raised to 1 half. So, since uh, quotient rule ang pwede natin apply, at saka ito pwede natin na i-divide. No? 4 divide 2, the answer is 2. And then, copy the base. And that is x, 2 minus 1 half. So, parang yung dalawang kilong bigas, bawasan mo ng kalahating kilo. So, ganun lang mag-solve, right? And that is 1 and 1 half. So, kapag minix natin yung 1 and 1 half, that is 3 over 2. So, pero kung gusto nyo naman, kunin yung gamit yung LCD. So, LCD natin is 2. 2 divide 1. Since dito wala tayong denominator, so may 1 yan. 2 divide 1, that is 2, times 2, kaya 4. Minus, 2 divide 2, that is 1, times 1, that is 1. So, 4 minus 1, the answer is 3 over 2, or 2x raised to 3 over 2. More example, we have 2m squared or the quantity of 2m squared raised to negative 1 times 4m raised to 3 over 2. So, product rule ang gagamitin natin. So, multiply muna natin. So, 2 times, okay, by the way, naka-raise pala sa negative exponent ito. So, ang gagawin natin, ibaba mo natin. Get the reciprocal. So, that is 1 over 2m squared. Okay, 1 over 2m squared. And then, times 4m raised to 3 over 2. So, pag minultiply natin to, that is 1 times 4m raised to 3 over 2 over 2m squared. So, pwede, natin, pwede na natin ngayon, i-divide ito at then ito, copy yung base, subtract the exponent. Okay, so 4 divide 2, the answer is 2. Then, copy the base. Subtract the exponent, 3 over 2 minus 2, and 3 over 2 minus 2. So, anong magiging LCD nila? 2, tama? 2 divide 2, 1 times 3, kaya 3. And then, 2 divide 1, since wala siyang denominator, 2 divide 1 is 2, times 2, kaya 4. And 3 minus 4, the answer is, uh, 3 minus 4, that is negative 1 over 2. So, the answer is 2m. Uh, since negative pala yung exponent natin, so ibababa natin yung m natin. Since uh, naka-raise yung negative 1 half kay m, uh, yung m pala naka-raise sa negative 1 half at negative yung exponent natin, so ibababa natin. So that is 2 over m raised to 1 half. Okay, for number 8, we have x raised to 1 fourth y over x raised to 3 fourth y raised to 1 half. So, paano gagawin dito? Ya, yeah, apply lang din natin yung quotient rule. Copy the base and subtract the exponent. So, isa-isay natin. Sa x muna tayo. x raised to 1 fourth minus 3 fourth. So, y. y, since wala tayong exponent dito kay y, so that is 1. So, 1 minus 1 half. So, 1 fourth minus 3 fourth, the answer is negative 2 over 4. Bakit? 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. Okay. And then, 1 minus 1 half, okay, the answer is 1 half. Since negative ang exponent natin dito, ibababa natin yung x raised to 2 over 4. So, may iwan sa numerator yung y raised to 1 half. Okay, o since ano pala class, 2 over 4 to, pwede pa natin i-lowest term. Okay, bago natin ibaba. So, the answer is y raised to 1 half over x raised to 1 half. Okay, I'll give you more another challenging uh Example, so for number 9, so we have x raised to 1 half, y raised to negative 3 raised to 1 half. So, multiply lang natin yan dito sa exponent natin sa loob. So, y, our x, that is, bakit, uh, wait lang. Okay, so, x raised to 1 half times 1 half, and y, negative 3 times 1 half. So, 1 half times 1 half, the answer is, 1 fourth. So, 1 times 1, kaya 1 
2 times 2, that is 4. And y raised to negative 3 over 2. So, kapag ganito class, magkasama sila, and then may isa na may nakaraise sa negative exponent, ibababa lang natin. So, the answer is x raised to 1 fourth over y raised to 3 over 2. So, dapat si y nasa baba kasi nakaraise siya dito sa negative exponent. Okay, I think this is the last example. We have x squared over y raised to 1 third, raised to negative 1 half. So, apply natin no, yung power of a quotient rule. Okay, so multiply natin yung exponent dito kay negative 1 half. And that is x squared times negative 1 half tapos y raised to 1 third times negative 1 half. So, dito, pwede natin i-cancel out to. Cancel out natin. So, magiging negative 1 na lang. So, magiging x raised to negative 1. And dito naman, okay, mumultiply natin 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. 3 times 2, that is 6. Kaya, y raised to negative 1 over 6. So, since same sila, naka-raise sa negative exponent, so, pwede natin gamitin yung shortcut, di ba, na kapag... Uh, Yung both numerator and denominator nakaraise sa negative exponent, pagpapalit lang natin. So, the answer is y raised to 1 over 6 over x. Okay, so that will be the final answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.